a very good day children real english course book class 6 many different birds and animals and even reptiles are kept as pets pets work wonders for your body soul and mind they stimulate your sense of well being they give you love they give you laughter but above all they give you happiness they don't care about your looks your financial status your social standing your creed your race your age your state of health they keep you fit they make you sure you are never lonely if you live yourself it can get awful lonely at home they make a great companion they will always be waiting for you to come home and they'll be happy to lend an ear they low your stress level modern life is stressful and high levels of anxiety can lead to numerous health problems luckily pets can really help us relax stroking you can or simply watching fish moving around in a tank can make your worries melt away they can help you make friends the pet owners community is an incredibly friendly one you will often find that people will stop to talk to you about your dogs in the park have a pet is a great way to make new people new friends new people and create bond quickly they can teach kids responsibilities every parent has heard the question can i have a pet kitten a puppy at home at some point in their kids life it's no secret that kids love animals and if they are old enough having one as a pet can actually teach them a lot of important skills such as cleaning out the cage grooming and teaching tricks they also develop their nurturing and empathic skills which are vital in later life they make you feel safe not everyone likes being home alone but having pet can make you feel a lot safer plus burglars are less likely to target a house that's clearly home to pet that dog some breeds make excellent guard dogs and even protect you some people have cats and few have dogs as pets because they are very independent parakeets can be trained to talk in olden days sailors and pirates who spent a lot of time on the sea used to keep parakeets as pet this is a story of a sailor and his pet a macaw the name of the lesson is the crony macaw the cr- cranky macaw Chapter One: The Cranky Macaw. Old sailor Johnny J loved the sea. Now the character is old sailor. His name is Johnny J, and he had a uh, he had a American South American parrot. His name was Crazy Kut. Old sailor Johnny J loved the sea. from the year he turned 12 he started sailing so when he was 12 years he started sailing since then it has been 66 years so since then now he is 66 years he has sailed across the world he has seen many countries so this johnny j has sailed 
Across the world he has seen many countries, but the sea was his home. He did not like to live on the land for a long period of time. So he only loved sailing. He did not like to live on the land for a longer period of time. He had a small cabin on an island of Guana where he chose to stay instead with his family which lived on the nearby island. So he lived on a, in a small cabin on an island in Guana. He lived in Guana where he chose to stay instead with his family. So he did not stay with his family. His family stayed in a nearby island. So he stayed in Guana in a small cabin. He didn't stay with his family. His family stayed in a nearby island. Johnny Jay had only one constant friend over the years. So for a long time, Johnny Jay had only one friend, Crazy Kut. Now who is Crazy Kut? It's the American parrot. His name is Crazy Kut. As he was known, spoke like a man but with a very old shrinking tone. So this parrot could speak like a man in a very shrinking tone. Crazy Kut and Johnny Jay both loved the sea and like all sailors enjoyed their own company. So these two loved the sea and they liked sailing and they both enjoyed the company. Meeting people away made them cranky. So they didn't like meeting people but they both enjoyed in their own company. But what made Crazy Kut really special was that he was a Macau, a kind of a South American bird. So this crazy bird was a Macau bird and it's a kind of an American parrot. His plumage the feathers covering the bird's body. Plumage means the feathers covering the bird's body. And the tail feathers were scarlet in color. Now scarlet is bright red. His feathers were bright red in color. The ramp is the backside of the light blue and the upper wings of yellow. Macaws are very intelligent and can be taught to speak. So these birds are very intelligent and they are taught, they can speak like how human beings speak. This American parrot that is crazy could had a bad temper. Means it, was, it used to get very soon angry. And when irritated, he would shout almost like humans. So this bird is to get have a bad temper, is to get very angry and when he is to get very angry and irritated he would shout same like we human beings shout. He loved watching old movies with Johnny Jay. So this bird loved to watch old movies, he used to sit with Johnny Jay and he used to watch movies. He could imitate sounds of gunfire. So this bird could imitate the sound of gunfire. He could also speak some dialogues. So this bird also knew to speak some dialogues from some old movies. Macau. Macau. He loved to whistle. You know what is whistling? Whistling is a whistle that comes out from the mouth. So he loved to whistle whenever he saw a girl or a woman, he would whistle loudly and pretend to faint. So this bird was very cunning. It is to whistle when he saw a girl and a, or a woman and he used to pretend that he has fainted. Nobody should even know that he was whistling. So he used to play such tricks also. He also threw his favorite food, sunflower seeds. So his favorite food was what? Sunflower seeds. He threw it everywhere in Johnny Jay's house and loved to hide behind things and he used to always play mischief. He used to throw things and he used to hide behind things. Johnny Jay and Crazy Kut were a well-matched pair. So these both were made for 
each other like well matched pair so what we learn from this lesson we learn about johnny jay and the crazy cute now we shall uh, do the next part in the next session